Once again, you're rocking with the Fly is Alive, CL Fly Die, broadcasting live from a rainstorm. We talk to you about the flies and the hottest things going on out there with the rain and with the rain wear. And right now, the ladies, I see y'all rocking the colorful galoshes, the rain boots with the patterns, and all that going on. And that's cool. I see y'all, but fellas, like, what we supposed to rock? Like, it's over with for rocking them old boots from the back of your closet that you don't care about getting messed up or trying to get away with rocking something fly from your closet, trying to avoid puddles all day long. No, it's over for that now. Like, we got options. Like, a lot of, like, what I recommend, really, for the footwear, for the men, for the rainwear, got to shout out the Trey Torns. They're really killing them out there. They got a great collection, all from sneakers, all, you know, with the ripstop, nylon material. Then they work their way all the way up to the boots. I like how they got the galoshes for the men with the low-cut ankle height, you know, a little type, little difference from the, the boots that the ladies is rocking. Definitely got to shout out the Hunter brand boots. A lot of the ladies are rocking those. They got the fold-over action with the materials playing off of it. That's real hot. So right now they added some men's variations to the mix. I saw some of them out there in Vegas when I was out there at Magic. Very hot product they got going on out there. Slight differentiation from the female's product too. Like I, I've been on this rainwear thing since 06. And a matter of fact, right now I'm going to show y'all one of my first presentations, my first programs that I did is called the Waterboy. You know, we got the classic men's sneaker with this all rubber, you know, with the umbrella and the bucket hat to, to uh, complete the whole look. We did something else with Converse, so check for those all rubber Chuck Taylors and the all rubber Jack sales in the store near you. You know you gotta get the hot umbrella, you know what I mean? I always like the long umbrellas with the hook handle, so after it stopped raining, you know, you got like a walking stick for the rest of the day. Like, but that's with the umbrella, that's really how you kill them. It's all about the handle. You know, they got the, the hook handles, they got the wood, different variations of wood, they got the leathers. Matter of fact, the suede, the Swain Adney Briggs, that's like my favorite umbrella of all time. Like, they, they give umbrellas to the royal family in England, so they, they, they actually switched it up with the exotic materials, the lizards, you know, the, the crocs, the ostriches. You know, and they actually even got one like with a, with a uh, mask in it, so just in case the rain got you feeling like you want to take a little sip or something, you know, they got you covered. Actually, but you know, umbrellas don't got to be so sophisticated all the time. You know, it's a good chance to have some fun. A whole lot of options out there, a whole lot of things. But with the umbrellas, it's really just one rule. Make sure it's strong. There's an upside down umbrella. You know, that's, not a, that's not a good look. Yeah. After that, you want to make sure you get yourself a nice trench. Trenches are hot for everyday business wear. You gotta shout out the Burberry. You've seen a lot of Burberry trenches out there. You've seen a lot of London fogs, you know, going on out there. But matter of fact, my trench game is kind of unmatched right now. I got the military, you know, military issue going on, nylon action. That's how you switch it up for the rain, you know, add some nylon into the mix, different types of materials. We're gonna definitely get back to the trenches in a later episode. But definitely get yourself a nice little trench for the rain. In 1822, Charles McIntosh created the first waterproof material. A couple years later, he started making coats out of them. They became known as the Macintoshes. It got so big that in, in England right now, all raincoats are called Macintoshes. So matter of fact, the brand's still around. They got some real hot rain wear, real hot product. You should definitely check them out, Macintoshes. Yeah, back in the day, he was killing them. If you had the Columbia rain suit, you know, the nylon joints, all different colors with the brim on the hood. Like, yeah, I got some ideas for that. I could definitely see those coming back around, like right about now. Matter of fact, Grandma Columbia, Call me, let's talk. Like, you know, I'm having your people call my people. Let's do lunch. Crazy out there, man. Had to get out that rain. Once again, thanks for riding with me one more time. As usual, send all your comments and style questions to askthefly.guy at gmail.com. Thanks for rocking with the flyers. Peace.